dark castle. I have heard many horrible things about this game, but you know what? I've never played it yet. So let's go ahead. Let's defeat the forces of the Black Knight with a valor never seen before. Well, game doesn't seem that bad so far. Let's start jumping over. I take that back. What kind of game has the gall to literally defy the rules of physics, stop the main character in midair, and then do the stupid little pose? I Wait, is is that whipping off Home Alone? And what does the main character have to defeat the forces of the Black Knight with? Rocks! Fucking rocks! Okay, this is gonna be something cool and innovative, but the developers made it into a kind of torture in itself. To throw these rocks, you have to stand perfectly still, aim your arm in the direction in which you're throwing, which takes a few seconds to do it perfectly, and then fire and pray. And of course, while you're doing this, SOME OTHER FUCKING ENEMY HAS ALREADY KILLED YOU! Oh. This game can't get any worse than it. What? WHAT THE FUCK?! Oh. You mean my main character can't even fall down if you're just a deep line with a fog on his ass?! WHO THE HELL DESIGNED THIS SHIT?! This part of the game alone makes me want to kill my firstborn son. And I don't even have children! There's a good chance that the majority of gamers who have played this game haven't even gotten past this stage. And I can understand why. Because of all this bullshit that you experienced, the average gamer would have stopped playing by now. But you know what? I'm gonna keep on going. Because I'm pro-torture. The collision detection in this game is piss poor. For example, take a look at this. Oh, that thing didn't even touch me! I, oh, that thing wasn't even close! And then I still die because of it? This game is a constant <laughs> battle between you and the main character. Hell, the main character is more fit for the Friar at McDonald's instead of fighting the forces of evil. In fact, isn't this the same piece of shit that burned my fries the other day? And now we're at the top. And it looks like, oh look, the sick Heil! And after this, we have to take this metal mace and bludgeon this torture man in the head. Of course, how do we get the mace off the rack? Hold down and then press B. Ladies and gentlemen, these controls are heels of the land span. And we all know how bad those controls were. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, you mean to tell me this guy couldn't even just walk over his belly? Ugh. This main character's wow. patheticness is also exothermic. <laughs> Check out what his enemies turn into when he kills him. A literal pile of shit! Okay, I finally got the key and I'm ready to go on to the next level. Let's do this. Let's go! Uh, what the hell's my key? Oh no, don't tell me I needed the key to lift up a wooden plank. Oh great, just what I need to see. An absolutely meaningless level! Uh, fuck it, let's just go on to the next stage. This scene is... Uh, the fuck? Shut the fuck up! Ugh. The person who thought that was going to be cool needs to be executed in public, just as an example of that. Ugh. The shield models are probably the easiest ones in the game, only because you don't have to experience the bullshit that goes through the rest of the levels. Now, I assume I have to pick up the shield and be struck by lightning. Alright. Oh, come on, why the hell isn't it striking me? Hello? Lightning! Fucking strike me already! Hey, they're finally coming around again! Is this supposed to be fun? Well, is it? Damn it! Hmm. I better watch those words. They're up to no good. <laughs> oh, god damn it! Oh, this shit is so bad that it deserves a second rant! Who the fuck designed this?! WHY CAN'T I GO DOWN A SLOW DECLINE WITHOUT FALLING ON MY ASS?! For the love of GOD, man! I could be a better hero than this piece of shit! GET YOUR ASS BACK TO THE FIRE, damn it! I still can- <laughs> EVASION MANEUVERS! <laughs> I can actually do something! I, I can actually do something for once! It's so beautiful! Nothing can stop me now! Oh god, no. I have to platform now? 
Why in God's good green earth do we need a platforming level in this game? Well, of course, when things well, can get worse. Oh well, no, we need to add the fucking platforming level. This platforming level couldn't have been that bad. But if you remember from the beginning of the oh. review, the main character does this stupid little pose every time he jumps. So this is where it's going to cost you, because every time he well, jumps, well, he's going to have that pose. And when he well, does that pose, that means you have to defy to it in this level. Well, Who the hell programmed this, Jack Thompson? Did, did El Ambulance Chaser Extraordinaire program this as an effort to get kids outside? Well, if that was the case, Mr. Thompson, mission accomplished. But you probably got a few people killed in the process. And before I forget, let me allow you to listen to this elegant music. <laughs> Okay, I know what you're thinking. This music isn't that bad, Batman. Of course, it's better than this piece of shit song in Fantasia. But you forgot one thing. This is the only song that plays throughout the entire game. And let me tell you, if you play this game as long as I have, this song will be seared into your goddamn eardrums. Oh, look, bro. I wonder what the hell happens when you hit it. Like we didn't snap. Another uninspired pop culture reference. The humor. Oh, wait a minute. Saddam was here. <laughs> Did you hear that, kids? <laughs> Saddam was here. By this part of the game, you're practically starved. And to make matters worse, guess how many rocks you get when you continue the game? That's it. Only ten rocks. What the hell can you do with ten rocks? Can we say, ammo starvation, children? You know what, Saddam was far too benevolent for this game. Saddam does not expect you to beat the game with ten fucking rocks! Ugh, let's just go on to the next stage. Huh, this level doesn't seem too bad. In fact, this level actually seems tolerable! Thank the heavens, for I have been blessed with a level of halfway decency. For heaven and earth, thank <laughs> No, keep away from me! No, don't touch me! Don't let me down! No! No! Oh, God, I've just been raped. Let's just forget the moment of rape ever existed. <laughs> this scene is totally not a ripoff of Donkey Kong. The Black Knight! He must be destroyed! Seriously, this is pathetic. If there was somebody out there to kill me, I think I'd be giving a little more than two shits about it by throwing bottles of mead at him. And if you have survived the meat cups of death, you get the ending! A plain black text screen saying, Congratulations, you have defeated the Black Knight. Or in more realistic terms, Congratulations! We've just chased on your face! And wait, why is the main character even going after the Black Knight in the first place? For all I know, he's just pissed off that the country's less in dependence on foreign imports, while the country's GDP has increased by 20% over the past five years! And if you thought things couldn't get worse, here's the kicker! You don't even need the shield and the fireball to beat the game! That's right. You don't need this to beat the game. That's why there are speedruns on YouTube in under a minute. You got that good programming? Show your face, you tireless hacks! Oh no. Oh no, no, no. What, what, what the hell? This is what you were supposed to give a shit! What happened to this? What this? What fucking this? You go ahead and program this shit? What the hell is wrong with you? Oh. Okay, I had some semblance of respect for you, Electronic Arts, but since I realize you released this shit, I can honestly say you become nothing more than the acclaim of the new generation. And I know what you're thinking. Worst game ever made, right? Wrong. For it is in my book, games involve competence, happiness, people dancing on the morning noon. No, my friends. Dark Castle is no game. This is an overconfident American programmer beating up that tie and it's plunging into a goddamn game cartridge! Ugh. You uh, know what? I can't take this anymore. I need to play something competent. 
god! Thank you! Dear 